Once a month, I need to run a report for my boss. They want to see how many front-end users we have, what their names are, and when they last logged into the protected area of our corporate website. Now, the download feature already exists in Typo 3 and was introduced in an earlier version. And with that, every column from a given table is included when I run the download export. So in my case, I get everything from the FE users table and I don't need everything, just one or two particular columns. With Type 3 version 13, I can now create a download preset. With this, I can specify what columns I want to export from a table. And I can also share this preset with other backend users so that they can run the reports as well. In today's example, we're going to create two export presets, one for the pages table and one for the FE users table ready for my boss. Let's get started. To begin, I need to add a small block of tsconfig to my installation site package. If you're not familiar, tsconfig is a configuration syntax used to customize TypeW3's backend. And if you're not familiar with site packages, site packages are standalone extensions that act as a container for our website's templates and configuration files like our tsconfig. Before we add our configuration settings, we need to make sure that they get loaded in the first place. To do that, I'm going to create a file called page.tsconfig in the configuration directory of my site package. This file is automatically loaded at runtime, and from here I can now specify where my tsconfig files will exist. In my tsconfig directory, I'm going to create a new directory again called presets. This is where we'll store each of our presets. Onto our pages export. I'm going to create a pages.tsconfig file. I'm calling it pages.tsconfig because it relates to the pages table in my database. Next, I'm going to add my preset wrapper. Then I'm going to specify which table I'm working with, followed by my preset for the pages table. To begin, I'm going to add my label, which will appear in the back end. Next, I need to specify which columns I want in my preset. In my example, I want the creation date, page title, slug, and the author. And that's it. If I want to add another preset, all I need to do is add another entry underneath and have it increment accordingly. Let's go over to the back end, clear the cache, and test out our new preset. Okay, let's do this again, this time for my users table, ready so I can generate a report for my boss. For the users table, I just want to export the user's name and the last time they logged into the front end of my site. And let's head over to our front end users directory, run our download preset report and save it as a CSV. And there we are. I can now see how many front end users we have, their username and the last time they logged in. And that's download presets. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and I'll see you next time.